Hi everyone, this is welcoming you back to Visa Pathfinder's channel. I am Sahid, and um, today we are looking at the cheapest institutions that are available in Canada, uh, super friendly to international. So we're looking at those vis-a-vis -vis the English proficiency requirements. We're looking at the uh, tuition as well as scholarships available in this. Please note uh, that this video is made based on the information that is made available to us as we're going through as this information keep changing from time to time at, on the various So we need to start first from the designated learning, in, which is what is referred to as the DLI. They are the schools that are approved by the provincial authority government to host international. So we're looking at that vis-a-vis -vis the uh, post-graduation work permit, because this is what you would need after completing. So this is how to search for the provinces and the institutions that they've got. So take for instance, we're looking at the province of Saskatchewan and these are the institutions that we got under it and we would see here that one of the institutions that would be mentioned today. So if we go all the way to say Show Hall, um, we would be saying this is where we're looking forward to say we call for PGW programs and you would see here the institution will be mentioned and you would see the DLI number that they've got the city where it's created and the campus. So take for instance one of the institutions that we're mentioning today which is the University of Saskatchewan. This is the number, the DLI number and it's the campus and you would see that they've got the uh PGW what you would need after studying which is for the post postgraduate so the PGWP, it is um, the post-graduation work permit, which is a program that allows students who have graduated from eligible Canadian designated learning uh, institutions to obtain an open work permit in order to gain valuable Canadian experience. So the first institution we'll be talking about today is the Nova Scotia uh, Community College, which is called the N N NSC. So the NSCC, you can see, you can easily go through the programs that they've got over here. They've got a lot of programs across different fields. And um, this you can search. And you can see the estimated fees for 23-24 session, which is upcoming. And um, a typical example of that is the remote sensing program, which I just um, checked, and that shows that you would be paying 11,000 as an So going forward to see these are the various scholarship awards that they got and bursaries. So you can go through all the details right up. And when it comes to the English requirement, which is what um, some people are always are curious to know. So you would see, take for instance, we can look at a, a country like Ghana, and you would see that if you're from Ghana, so all they need is just West African Examination Council, Senior Secondary Certificate, National Senior. So that is all they would need, and on and on like that. You can see every single country, India, and on and on like that. So the next institution I will be mentioning today is that of the Memorial. University of Newfoundland. So the Memorial University of Newfoundland, uh, that's located in Newfoundland and Labrador province. So you would see the various programs got, and that includes humanities, social sciences. Uh, they got a lot of interdisciplinary programs, professional programs. They got those in sciences. So if you click each of those, so you can easily find. So take for instance the humanities science. So you can see anthropology, archaeology, so it goes on and like that. So you can search for whatever you're happy to see the sign. You can see the various professional programs because it at different levels and the science. So for the undergraduate program, you can see a lot of different, uh, for the postgraduate rather, you can see a lot of 
diploma certificate, master's degree. So this is kind of the entirely showing everything that they got post degree. Diploma to master's to PhD, and you would see all the faculty that they campus. Where they are located, Greenfield, um, Jones, Amangoda. This is also to show you the proof of English. And so, for instance, it is said that students who have completed secondary schooling and undergraduate or graduate program at a recognized institution where the language of instruction is English, not required. So, you don't need any. And this is the tuition. You would see that for this one, you would see the amount for international. And that's it right here. So you would see for a program like a graduate diploma, we cost an average international students so 6300 And the master's degree program on the average would cost $9,066. So for their own scholarship, what they're saying right here is for you to get in touch with these emails and we'll be able to support it. So the next university I'll be talking about is the University of Prince Edward Island. That is our number three. So you, the University of Prince Edward Island has also got quite a number of programs running through on the graduate to grad. And you would see you can easily do that by filtering by undergraduate, by graduate, by certificate. And you can also do all of this by thesis or course based whatever. And you would see they got programs across some um, math, business, nursing, science, education, among others. You can look for all of those. Um, whatever level you're looking for, you can just quite an area. So for the graduate program specifically, you can actually focus on this page and you would find a different program. So for the tuition, so you would see a typical master's program will cost 9,220 and that's for a typical two-year master's program and you would see that the international student, the, the clause that says you will be paying eight eight thousand and ten up per year in addition to full time. So they got the different scholarships, so you can go on this screen and see the complete list of scholarships. This shows us a lowdown of the scholarships, and you would see that they acquired a number of them with various deadlines. various amounts as well. So you would see it varies from one scholarship or award. And for recognized English language countries and institutions, so the institution already the institution required is. as the official language of instruction in the following countries. An applicant with credentials from these countries meet the institution's English language. So if you ever studied in any of these institutions, so you wouldn't need to show any English proficiency. However, if you have come from any other country, they're all listed underneath. Some of the institutions that is uh, also listed, they say applicants with credentials from the following institutions in the designated country meet the institutions of English. And you can see all the list here. So if you're from India, all these institutions, you can see the list right there. Kenya, see the list of institutions. Nigeria. All the institutions that would approve. And it goes on and on for those from Philippines. So, the next institution I will be talking about is the University of Saskatchewan. So, the University of Saskatchewan is located in Saskatoon. And you would see the programs that they've got for the graduate program. These are the various programs they got masters and PhDs. And we can see all the a handful of programming so you can make a choice. And for undergraduate, diploma, among others, you find all of the certificate programs 
there. All right. And they go to College of Art and Science, Nursing, Nutrition, Education, Bioresources, Engineering, Agriculture, Bioresources, and so on. And when it comes to the tuition, so what they're looking at is 3699 per term, so which gives a total of um, 11,099 per session. And there are various award and scholarship opportunities as well that uh, they've got on their website on screen. And you can put it. And when it comes to English, they've got a list of institutions that they say uh, is referred to as the eligibility for exemption. So going on to say, for instance, going on this. So let's say, for instance, yeah. as a second example, and we can also see the list of institutions from Nigeria that they also accept. And it goes. So the last institution I'll be talking about today is the University of New Brunswick. So they got different programs as well. You can see from anthropology, biology, nursing, engineering programs. They go on. For, for the undergrad, you can see you can actually select by campus and join and the federal team. So you will see different campus. And um bachelor's degree of art applied as and um, computer science so you can see the programs available and like so this is the list of tuition for 2023 2024 so we can see it is talking about the fee per course and for the years it is 16 15 um canadian and that is what you're looking at for international student per course and these are the country specific requirements for english for the various countries ethiopia uh, you can see what you need ghana two from guatemala liberia you can see morocco nigeria and so on pakistan so and finally, you can see this, and that is the scholarship that it got available also, and you can easily apply for any of those as highlighted on. Look at the requirement. Really, life, and it's just important. Fine. Apart from all of these that we've reviewed, the other things that really bring all these universities together is your friendliness when it comes to the acceptance rate. So most from findings, these universities have got at least a. Uh, three quarters acceptance rate, which varies from time to time, but of course, that is what the average is. So we never know if that changes anytime soon, but that is what we have right now that brings together the kind of similar to all of, or common to all of them. So um, this is where we're going to be calling it a day today on the list of institutions. So, guys, go check those institutions out, and I can assure you that those are. You know like five of the cheapest that you would find in canada so if you find this video very helpful please like and share and also hit the subscribe button so you can get all our videos real time as we go with the next time we meet again it is sahid saying goodbye thank you